Pennsylvania's state treasurer is embarking on a mission to reunite military members or their families with lost medals that may have ended up in the state's possession. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner joined state treasurer Stacy Garrity to get an inside look at the vault in Harrisburg, where the decorations are kept and waiting to find their home. For many of those who fought for the red, white, and blue, only memories remain. Some in plain sight, others buried deep. You can't put a price on these decorations. Under the dirt near Pennsylvania's capital is where Pennsylvania's treasurer has a treasure trove of metals locked inside 400 tons of steel. Returning um, military decorations is one of our highest priorities. This is the wheel to that 60 ton door to get inside to see everything from coins to jewelry to yes, even those military medals. For anybody that's seen the movie Ocean's 11, this vault is way more impressive. The vault's invaluable secrets spill across rooms and countless trinkets. Inside drawers, fancy pieces of jewelry, behind cases, the thousand dollar Grover Cleveland bill, and even secured gates. This uh, little bowl of gold coins. Property that lies both inside and outside these bars. Almost four billion dollars. So that's four billion with a B dollars of unclaimed property. Much of it destined for auction, if never claimed. Yet military medals will never be sold. We keep them. Um, until we do find the owner. It's not only Purple Hearts they're looking to return, it's also things like this, dog tags, and multiple bronze stars. Each one of these has an owner. The issue is finding them. Sometimes it takes a lot of detective work. A modern day Sherlock Holmes played by the state's new treasurer with 370 military decorations returned to date, yet 659 to go. And you'll see a lot of other different campaign medals. There's an Army Achievement Medal. How do these tend to come to the Treasury? A lot of them are from abandoned safe deposit boxes. Clues of courage, of faces, letters, and even partial names in hopes of one day finding what was lost for the people who gave it all. What does that mean to you personally when you're holding that in your hand, knowing that that's not with its rightful owner? As a veteran myself, uh, knowing that, you know, a Purple Heart recipient, so somebody that, you know, almost made the ultimate sacrifice. I mean, these heroes, it's, it's so incredibly important to me to make sure that these military decorations are returned. In Harrisburg, Jamie Benner, Fox 43 News. And you heard the treasurer mention the medals are part, part of $4 billion worth of unclaimed property in possession of the state. So chances are you or someone you know may be the rightful owner of at least some of it. One out of 10 Pennsylvanians have unclaimed property, and the average claim is just under $2,000. So check to see if you own any of it. We have a link to the information posted on fox43.com.